Air France, their slogan, making the sky the best place on earth. First draft of Air France, we're as rude at 30,000 feet as we are at ground level. Exactly. Well, you know, the whole idea educating means you don't think the person is a failure to start with. You can probably make them evolve or make them understand or make them more aware of what you're trying to educate them with. So, you know, we don't bear any hard feelings towards Jay, even though he drives us completely nuts. So the whole point of the campaign, we're trying to educate him because we still think he's a good person at heart. No, these rioters, they say they are upset because they are immigrants who have been treated poorly by the French. What? I just passed the American border this morning. I'm really glad to be in the United States of America. This is the first installment of a very long trip all the way to Los Angeles, California, part of a program I've dubbed and called Educating Jay. French people treating foreigners rudely? I can't believe it. Stop the presses! When did this happen? Oh my God! Hey, join the club! A lot of my compatriots have sent me a number of donations and uh, we've bought a number of books from Mr. Leno. So this is the first step in our long journey and it's not just going to be about Mr. Jay Leno, it's going to be about us having fun in America. I am French. Um, you may hear a few unusual diphthongs in my speech and those will be revealing uh, my little French accent from time to time. But I was schooled in Bordeaux, France um, and I've been in America many number of times. I truly enjoy this beautiful country and I just wish both countries would uh, speak to each other a little more often. Homer, what's your least favorite country? Italy or France? France. <laughs> Nobody ever says Italy. Join the fight. Dylan, they're not responding. And they're not attacking. What are they, French? Uh, well, welcome to my native town. This is where I was born many years ago. And for those who don't know where this is, uh, it's a thousand miles from Boston, but this is France. This is part of France. And so this is called St. Pierre Miquelon. As you can see, tiny little island, beautiful harbor. And the reason I want to actually speak to you directly, Gielano, is I'm still, still angry at some of the comments you made about, you know, there are only four guys in the French resistance. Twelve days of rioting and France still has not surrendered. That's like a record. You know, they are surprised. In fact, things are so bad that France is now waiting for the Germans to come back in. Hey, listen, could you... So I'd like to you to come up with me, Jay, and read the names with me of all the men and women from this little tiny island, this village, who died for France, who died for freedom, who died during World War II, uh, on corvettes, you know, Actually, some of these men may have saved American lives as they were going across to England because they would have been on the French corvettes that were escorting British and American ships. So this is the War Memorial in St. Pierre, World War I and World War II. In World War I, 25% of troops died on the front, which is a much higher percentage than in France because the St. Pierre people were put in the colonial troops. In World War II, there was a large number of men who died because they signed up in 1941-1942 to be with the Free French to keep fighting. And they weren't four guys like you claim they were. Well, we're starting here in uh, just outside of Monroe, Michigan, and we'll be driving south till we hit Route 66 across the desert and uh, making it in Los Angeles maybe under a week. We're not quite sure yet, so just set yourselves up, make yourselves comfortable, come along with the trip. Did we educate Jay? 
I think we did. Maybe grade one. <laughs>